What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Gibbon here today with another Overwatch competitive video for you. On Route 66 I'm playing as another character that you never see me play as, which is Zarya. And it gets me to the topic that I want to talk about. Now, I did say that competitive has reignited within me and I am enjoying playing it. I am to a certain degree now... Fair warning, this is going to be a bit of a rant, a bit of a complaint, whatever. And I do understand that with me playing solo queue, I fully understand that you're going to run into these situations and you're going to run into these problems. You even run into it when you're playing, for argument's sake, like a 5-stack or a 4-stack or a 3-stack or even a 2-stack to a certain degree. You're going to run into the same sort of issue. But I'm getting a little bit annoyed at people not understanding what a team composition is and what you actually need and needing a Mercy or needing a Lucio or needing just some form of healer in some way or not picking the right tank or not picking a tank at all or not picking any DPS characters or not picking a DPS character that is right for the map that you are playing on or somebody going as Hanzo on attack when you are fucking dog awful couldn't sniff your own fucking armpit shit at playing Hanzo. Why are you doing it? Now, the other thing that is really beginning to fuck me off as well in solo queue, more than anything at all, still stress, love the game, love it to pieces. I think it's because I'm getting stressed out because I've gotten close to twice getting into Platinum now, and each time I've ended up losing like four or five games in a row and getting shit on by the enemy team because they understand what a composition is and how to play it. Now this is the thing, the other thing that really pisses me off, is them fucking dickheads that when you get into a lobby start spamming a particular character that they demand that they demand for you to pick spamming mercy 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 or spamming spamming reinhardt or just spamming a character that they want you to pick because they aren't capable of switching off their fucking main character and maybe taking one for the team because it's all important to them to get the most amount of kills. To get the most amount of fucking damage done. Fuck off with yourself. Stop thinking that this is an individual game. This bullshit ain't COD. And if you were that fucking good, you would be in Platinum. You would be in Diamond. You would be fucking Master or Grandmaster. You aren't fucking Jesus. Fucking behave yourself. Look at the team that is forming in front of you and try and pick something that is a composition. I have to say, in every fucking game that I've played so far, I have never played the same character twice. In fact, let me give you a little bit of information in terms of for this current competitive season, the way that I've actually played. I'm going to run you down the list that I've played. Soldier, two hours. I always main Soldier, but I've hardly played him so far this competitive season. Lucio, one hour. Torb, 51 minutes. Junkrat, 46 minutes. Sombra, 44 minutes. Orissa, 40 minutes. Reaper, 31 minutes. Bastion, 21 minutes. Symmetra, 24 minutes. Saria, 23 minutes. Roadhog, 18 minutes. Not even the characters that I would normally play, like D.Va. I've only played 16 minutes with D.Va. I just... You know when you just think, I don't understand what the fuck is... I, why? Why are there, Why is this community this way? Unless you're playing as a six stack, or you go on the most luckiest streak in the world, and it does happen. I've played it, and I've gone on like a five, six, seven, eight win streak quite nicely. Thank you very much. But that's because a bunch of randoms have decided to stay into a group together, communicate, and that's the other thing. How do you not have a fucking microphone? How do you... You go into a lobby and you go, What's up, guys? Is everybody all right? And nobody fucking talks. How can you expect to win a competitive match if you don't fucking communicate? Rather than sitting there and going, I need healing. I need healing. I need healing. Grow the fuck up. You have a headset. You obviously have a microphone. If not, you've got maybe a PlayStation camera that has a microphone on it. How can you not communicate while playing competitive? It's one of the key aspects of playing com com competitive. I'm that angry, I can't form words. It's one of the key aspects of playing competitive. Use words, you have them. But unfortunately, people just don't want to talk. It's so annoying. Like, even when people aren't talking, I'll dip in. 
watch out, Genji coming flank, or, or a player's left their team, we can maybe get another DPS in, or something like that, but I don't... Why? Why do you do it? Why? Why, why is the need to be that way? And it just... And you can understand why you see on the forums for Overwatch, people going, I'm done with competitive, I'm done with competitive. Some people are for, aren't fortunate enough that they can play with their mates because they're higher ranked than them and they don't have the opportunity to do it. Therefore, meaning that they have to solo queue. There's just not anything that they can do about it. It just... Oh, I'm so annoyed. It's just not even funny. And then people that aren't willing to change halfway through. I'll change up halfway through if I think, right, I need to have a character like Azaria to go against the Diva because the beam is going to win constantly, hands down. But then other, just, oh, just fucking look at the team that you are playing with. Look at the team that you are playing against. If it's not working, change the fucking composition. Don't stick with Hanzo because you want to get that four-man play of the game for no apparent fucking reason. Because you didn't win the game, so it's worth fuck all. That's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. I promise I won't rant for much longer. Love you all. Bye.